The announcement from Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman's office saying that he's being treated for clinical depression. Many are now wondering what exactly that means. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares some of the options now used by doctors to help manage this illness. Hey there, everybody. After hearing that John Fetterman has clinical depression, he's being applauded for raising awareness. But those that I talked to today say there's something else we should know. There are several new therapies that really can work to make a difference. The first uses the traditional combo of medication and therapy. But rather than trying multiple medications to see what works, they use what's called pharmacogenomic testing. Um, there are about 25 genes that are known to impact how over 100 medications behave in our bodies and 99% of people worldwide have a variant in at least one of those genes. This would allow Mr. Fetterman's doctors to prescribe antidepressant medications based on his own genetics. The second, Dr. Caleb Adler of Ohio's UC College of Medicine told me, may have to do with addressing the brain situation. A third of those who have had a stroke or injury to the brain do experience what Fetterman's team reports, clinical depression. So therapy focuses on... Keeping a positive outlook, recognizing that one can recover, that, that a stroke is not a, a death sentence or, a, or it doesn't have to be debilitating. And finally, Dr. Adler says two others he's found to be very effective at his mood disorder center of excellence... The first is a brain therapy we know of called electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT. I don't want to use this word because I think it gives the wrong impression and is scary sounding, but it's what people think of as shock therapy. It's where a current is applied to the brain, uh, but in fact, it's very, very safe. The second treats the brain with what's called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. What TMS involves, in short, is using a magnetic field to induce current uh, in the kind of surface areas of the brain. It has been shown to have a, well, be very effective for treating depression. Now, one important note, if you are feeling you're in crisis, we want to remind you 988 is the new crisis hotline. You can call it 24 hours a day, and it is available in English and Spanish. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonas. Now back to you.